Hello there! Let's make pockets for chunk journals. These are quite simple to make. I've used my Burdeck printables, there's a link in the description, some tea dyed cardstock leftovers, a sewing machine, scissors, corner punch, a circle punch and some glue. Let me put this away first. Mm, these are journaling cards that go with that pocket and we're going to make something like this but I'm using an old cardstock left over. It's tea dyed uh, design paper, quite heavy or thick. And I'm I have planned to decorate the front and to hide this, these images that I don't really like. And I have already punched a thumb hole here and rounded the corners. Then we're going to select the right kind of images for these. Maybe, let's see, maybe this one on the inside and just a border here or here or both. Let's see. I have to think about it a little bit. I used some borders here. Hmm, maybe it's okay for this one too. Let's see. I will cut this part of the paper to to match this uh, this side of the cardstock. Yes. Okay. I will glue this down and then I'm going to select the right kind of borders here and after that, before gluing down anything else, I'm going to sew the edges. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Just a little bit of glue here. That's the difficult part. Put some paper to shield the table tabletop. Then I'm going to round the corners. They were made probably using this ten millimeter corner punch. doesn't work quite well with this thin paper. I should probably use something. Okay, let's clean this up with the scissors. You could put two thin papers together and then it cuts more easily. So, mm -hmm. okay, there's a little bit of 
irregularity, but I'm going to ink it so it won't show. No worries. Then... Uh, if I use this... this... here... and cut the thumb hole over there... hmm... Somehow it doesn't look good. Maybe just one in the center. Would that be better? Or... Decisions, decisions. Hmm. I put it in here. Some glue. Is it even now? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to sew it with the sewing machine. I'll be back. Now I have sewn all the parts that uh, needed sewing before we close this. We glue this down. These, these parts. And I might leave these strings here. Now, some glue here and we'll sew around here. And it's ready. I've used this turquoise string that has the same uh, color as this egg and some of these the same shades. I like it and this tag goes in here and this tag goes in here and I'm going to Add this to my junk journal. Let's find a place for it. I don't like the red and these colors, nor the pink. Let's find a better place. Oh, no. This one. That's a good place. Some glue. This is just a visual junk journal for me. I have lots of journals and I actually write quite a lot and I write some stories too but those are pri so private that I can't show them <laughs> of course this is just for um, For those purposes that I can I can show you what I'm making and also I enjoy the visual part of putting things together. And this visual junk journal also gives me some ideas for future work. I want to leave this Maggie stamp here, so I'm going to Put this right beside it and use my trusty iron to attach it. 
we'll wait a minute or so and then we shall see how it fits here. Let's see now. That's good enough. Then I'm going to add the date. And for that I'm going to need this board, writing board, so that I can stamp here. I think it's 9th. Let's check it out. No, it's 10th. 10th of January here. So I'm going to need another. That's 9. And let's put this in the camera. Let's find the number 10. Oh yes, there it is. These are Maki stamps. I have just glued them on these corks, wine corks. They are easier to use that way. So, 10th. Tenth of January twenty twenty. Uh huh. Let's clean that that excess off. Okay. Tenth of January. It's ready to be written, written on, and there's the other one. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.